come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. Coming at you every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not, because we're on a quest to conquer the world. One podcast listener at a time, and that's you. Yes, you. We're so, going to conquer you. <laughs> that's, oh, my. that's. I mean, that's no, basically no. what Colin just said. I'm wow. hoping that we've okay. already got them. Well. We're trying to conquer other people. And they're oh. going to help us by hitting that like or subscribe button, because then the algorithms will show our podcast to other like Do we trust folks. the algorithms to do that? No. We just switch one we day and they ha- don't show our shit. It's less of a trust and more of like a pray and a begging, you know? Yeah. We're, 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 we have no other choice, I guess. We're at the altar of the almighty algorithm asking so. for uh, yeah. to smile on us, you know? Yep. And also, yeah. I don't want anyone messaging me about conquering them. Uh, you can, no, you no, no, Holly, no. Okay, that's just fine. I mean, start, I'll start off the episode. Little, I just, just, like, I just like, want to put that DM out there. like yeah. all concrete. It's like no, no we don't, no, we don't no. want that. We don't, don't need that. Don't no, slide no, into we don't my wanna, DMs about yeah, that. Yeah, we shit. don't want to be conquered. Sorry, no, don't want to. That's a good point, Holly. Don't slide into my DMs with that shit. Yeah. Well, now we've introduced Holly. <laughs> we should probably yeah. introduce the rest of the internet radio superstars. Michaela, Sean. And I'm Colin. I was wondering if we were going to go back there. Yeah, but all right. I guess we skipped me. I don't know. <laughs> you're, you're here. We know. Yeah. I'm here. Uh, well, tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by... Colin, what do we watch tonight? In our first of the new year... That's right. Because we're back after <gasps> wow. listeners' pick month. Yeah. So now we are back on schedule. Colin, the, what the did we pick? The first pick of the draft of 2023. Basically, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. To start off, yeah. what did we choose well, tonight? Well, because I think I have been doing this on subsequent years, whenever mm-hmm. we come off... The listener's choice. We go straight Jallo. We go Jallo shots. Uh, uh, <laughs> right? Right. We would do Jallo okay. January. Right, we I, can't do I, that because we've already used. I like January. I like Jallo shots. <laughs> I don't believe you came up with it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I love that. That's I'm great. here for it. That's, yeah, that's yeah. said that great. last time we did one. Did, you? did we? Yeah. yeah. I mean, well, we'll forget yeah. for next time because we know yeah. there'll be another one coming. And like, like, that's right. Just yeah. Yeah. you join me out of it then. I know because we went through a bunch of Dario Argento movies, and then I was like, okay, fine. I think we've hit the core, like Dario Argento. Yeah. Jealous. I was just thinking about opera the other day. And right. Like, and so when we end up watching was. ones like fun. these, we're just like, ah, oh, I miss Argento. But we'll oh, yeah. get to that. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. So this is a good uh, good yeah, place yeah. to go. So uh, tonight we watched Torso. 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 <laughs> it's a great title. Torso. Yeah. Torso. This is not the Italian title. What's the Italian title? Uh, oh. The bodies showed traces of carnal violence. Ooh. Wow. Shortened down to carnal violence at a certain point. And in Australia. Ah, uh, the I bodies like, show traces carnal, of carnal violence. Carnal, carnal violence I can get on board. <laughs> yeah, carnal violence. Well, the Just print that we watched, it, it did have the title, Carnal Violence. Okay, so uh, what kind of, what version of this movie did we watch tonight? Uh, we watched the hybrid because... A hybrid? <clears throat> yeah. What does was, that mean? Well, when it came out in America, it was kind down to, I think like 85 minutes this was 93 okay. I think so we watched a version that had the Italian uh cut material back in but they didn't have they didn't dub it because you know when they cut it out they yeah, just, didn't just do editing it. It so back they in. had Italian subtitles uh, over uh gotcha yeah gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. um uh from the year 1973 73 okay. and directed by Sergio Martino what else has Sergio Martino done what's the thank you for asking Sean ah, no problem it's almost like it's my job because uh, Sergio Martino did a movie called Monster Shark. <laughs> you had to what? look down. Monster, Monster Shark. From oh, what well, year was yeah, Monster yeah. Shark? I don't know. It was like the late 70s, early 80s. Okay. I mean, really? Well, we said that the Italians were these great rip-off artists. They right? are Where they would just kind of do... Well, there was like Jaws. Cruel Jaws. Escape from New York. Yeah. Uh, Night of the Living Dead or Dawn yep. of the Dead. Yep. You know, cannibal movies kind of were an offshoot of that. Mm-hmm. I mean, they just like took these movies, Exorcist rip-offs. Yep. They made their versions of everything. They did. Um, um, versions of Terminator and Aliens as well. Oh, yeah. Shocking Dark. That's right. <laughs> yes. and that Bruno Mattei, I think. Bruno Mattei. He did Cruel Jaws. Oh, cruel, yes, yeah. Bruno Mattei did Cruel Jaws and many others. There was a movie called Barracuda. There was. Was that uh, Italian? Tentacles, I think. Tentacles is Italian. That yeah. makes sense. Um, Sergio Martino also did it. So the way that I understand it, right, um, Dario Argento is basically the brand name of Jallo. Oh, we so we have Jallo. the super, the Walmart super value. Well, we haven't great gotten value. there yet. Or the great value. You know, oh, okay. it's like oh, Umberto so we're, we're Lenzi or something. Yeah, yeah going yeah. down levels. Yeah. Okay. okay. Cause I think you got, you know, Argento is the brand name. Okay. Argento is yep. the designer. Yep. And ah, then I which think sounds like it, doesn't it? Yeah. It's like Argento. Oh, but yeah. you also Where have the new yeah. Mario Bava. 
Yes, right? yeah. but yeah. he was yeah, yeah. before these guys. But right. he kind of set the 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 style. Yeah. yeah, and then I think he come to Sergio Martino. Okay, uh, he did movies such as uh, the Strange Vice of Mrs. Ward. Ooh, uh, what is Mrs. Ward's Strange Vice? Good, you Murder. Watch it, find out. Yeah, I, I know what it is. I'd tell you, but uh, oh, no, no, yeah, I guess it's dollar orgies. How about oh. <laughs> your vice is a locked room and, and only, only I have, have the key, key which yep. is a line in I think uh, the strange. That vice sounds like a Fallout Boy song. Uh, <laughs> it really does. There is, yeah, there is crossover they're, they're, there. All their titles are that long yes, too. There yeah. is crossover. And all the colors of the dark is another. Yep. He did a bunch of movies that usually, and I'm surprised actually she wasn't in this one. Uh, Edwidge uh, Fennec is in mm. a lot of them, and. George Hilton are usually in, uh, in most of that's how you know you're watching a Sergio Martino movie. Okay. So I think she was married to his brother. But so yeah, we're gonna get to some and of those he had a thing some for point. his brother's wife's like, I'll put you on. <laughs> yeah, naked in all the <laughs> yes, movies. You will that, be naked yeah. in all my uh, are you okay with this? Yes. Apparently she was. Uh Edwige, well, we'll They're Italian. To, there, yeah, there'll be a whole thing on Edwige mm-hmm. Fennec coming up. Um <laughs> okay, so I guess Holly. Yeah. Oh. What's a Jallo? For what, the, if this is your first rodeo, listen to one of these. Which it is not, but... What is it? Um, it's an Italian slur. Well, I know what it is, okay, Sean. I'm sorry, I'll shut up. Yeah. Are we being quizzed right now? I know. Feels like a final. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, short story, it's an Italian slasher movie. Um, it does saying. have... Do, fine, Sean, over to you. No, no, no. I'm, fine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, Holly. It usually does have some key elements, such as uh, sometimes specific colors. That's a big Argento thing. Um, a lot of times, the glove, the black glove, is like the signature. Trench coat yeah. mask. Trench coat mask. POV. Yeah. Knives. As it were. Usually yes. knives. Yep. Involved yeah, definitely. A lot. There's always yeah. yeah a unique. Usually a yeah. unique knife in this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very shiny. Mm-hmm. They're just like, Ooh, we love the reflection of a of light off a blade. They yeah. seem to largely be confined to like one location a lot of the time too it's always like a school or like some sort of like community like a place a bunch of people have to gather for some reason it seems like mm. so. yeah. an italian villa that they escape yep fashion school for. well a Opera. lot of them yeah because a lot of them also seem to take place like in rome or in uh, like london or something like that yeah. a metropolis there's usually a square yeah yeah mm-hmm. yeah so a lot of architecture yes mm-hmm. uh fashion mm-hmm. beautiful women Mm. Mm. Horrible murders, which no predate. Yeah, yeah. no, no bras. Mary a bras are tonight, illegal ever. in this genre. <laughs> yes. Illegal. Here's and the God thing, though. Like, 70. I think that, uh, um, like Argento stuff. Like, I never really got, at least in his earlier stuff, wasn't really sleazy, mm. right? But the, all the other ones kind of are, <laughs> you know. And I think the, this is obviously one of them, mm. you know. Uh, and they. Uh, because there's one called strip, strip nude and for you. We had an orgy. Oh. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> we did. That set some kind of record. Yeah, it has to. Nudity right, because we entered. We started a movie. movie. I'm like, are we? Are we starting the movie? Like there already? was no boobs, no logo bumpers, no nothing. nothing. It was just. That's why I was boobs. confused. I'm like, we. There's no yeah. introduction. Yeah. Boobs and oh, we're in an orgy. Yep. 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 Which. With a doll. Mm. With a doll. With a doll. Oh, that's right. And we're not yeah. we're not being cute and calling this girl a doll. No, it's there's an like actual doll. an yeah. antique doll with the eyes which that roll fa- back. Which falls off. On her, it, well, okay, the way, the way they pan this shot, too, because they're going down yeah. her torso. And, and they, get to, they get to the they, dark hair of the doll. And I thought it was her bush. We all thought it was <laughs> yeah, her bush. I was yeah, like, I was like, oh, God. I was like, the Italians just really let well, it go wild. It was first, the bush of a doll. Well, at first I thought it was like a dude's head, and he was like going down. That's what I thought, yeah. Yeah. And then That's I thought, I thought it was her bush. And yeah. then I thought it was her bush. And yeah. I was like, oh, this is a totally different direction. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's a doll. 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 Great. Yeah. yeah. The least exciting of I mean, all those options. Already guessing. 20 yeah. seconds in. Already yeah. guessing. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's yeah. a thing. Yeah. Um, uh, so a lot of them, I guess the reason I wanted to you know, show one of these was because I think this actually feels more like what the genre feels like. I, was say, okay. I think we know why you uh, wanted in, to show in, this. Well, yes. you know, right. Yeah. Like it. It's a good yeah. <laughs> because Colin extreme, has a sickness. And... It, what was it? Extreme nudity, uh, the IMDb says. Oh, is that what it says? Yeah. Severe. Severe, severe nudity. It's severe. always, yeah, severe. Severe, severe nudity. Yeah. Mild profanity. Yes, <laughs> which it was. Mild. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> um... The other thing, let's see. So it was written by a guy named Ernesto Gastaldi, and he also wrote a bunch of Jalo movies, but he also started with uh, Werewolf in a Girl's Dormitory. Ooh, see, great title. Oh, I'm interested. Right? Yeah, sounds I was just saying, cool. like, I'm, I'm down. I'll put that yeah, on the list like right a now. Movie oh, horror, it sounds like a horny werewolf great. movie, which is my favorite <laughs> subgenre. So. I know. I've never seen it. I'm curious, but it's old. Yeah, it's yeah. like late 60s, early 70s. Interesting. Uh, the Horrible Dr. Hitchcock. That's a good mm. title. Uh, the Whip in the Body was a Mario Bava movie. The Sweet Body of Deborah. 
Ah, Deborah. Oh, I don't like oh, that one. Deborah. That one feels sleazy. What about yeah. so sweet, that so perverse? Like, it that sounds like a prequel. <laughs> It sounds like a prequel to uh, <laughs> Debbie Does Dallas. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But so sweet, so perverse. Sounds like the book that would be written about the history of Giallo. It movies. turns out that somebody wrote a book about the history of Giallo and they used that <laughs> <What>? title. Yes. <laughs> well, there you go. Well, now I gotta look this up because I'm curious. There you go. Uh, he also did All the Colors of the Dark End Torso. Uh, uh, he wrote The Grand Duel, which is a Western by Sergio Carbucci. You did Django. Uh, Sergio Carbucci, who yeah. we know from. Carbucci. Django. Was it Car- oh, he was the director in Once Upon a Time. Yeah, that's, yeah, what yeah. I, that's where I heard it. Yeah. Sergio Carbucci. Uh, and uh, he also wrote Once Upon a Time in America, the um, Sergio Leone. Makes big sense. Gangster and all movie, coming yeah. together all, for Quinn. I it's like that circle. the movie is so sweet, dot, 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 so perverse, yeah. not comma. That's yeah. it. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, you did not choice. mention yeah, the dot, dot, dot. So yeah. sweet. Yeah. So perverse. Yeah. Because they had to think about it for a minute. It is more whimsical. Yeah, they had. there was a thought. So sweet. Oh, yeah. Yes, also yeah. so like, perverse. There's a breath in that title. You yeah. are, <laughs> Colin, it's called So Deadly, So Perverse, oh, 50 damn. Years of Italian Giallo Films. Okay. Nice. But Sorry. yeah, no, it's still so referencing that. <laughs> That's good. That's great. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I'm going to have to read that. This is one of the few Giallo movies. I didn't know that there was a thing called Giallo uh, back when I heard about this movie, but um, like I had heard of the bird with the crystal plumage, and I had heard of Ding, uh, where Deep we hit Red. The bell yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. There's your yeah. bingo card. <laughs> the bird with the crystal plumage. Yes. Yeah. Susie Kendall, is. who's in this uh, movie, is the star of Bird oh with the Crystal God. Plumage. Who did she play in this movie? Uh, she was the lead girl. Jane. Jane. Okay. Thank you very the much. Blonde? The blonde. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, I was like, with this, and you gotta give me hair colors because she oh, was yeah. also in. I feel like the lead girl changed. Oh, she was the blonde. Movie. Okay, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. They all for the yeah. second half of the movie. This yeah, is like yeah, there was a redhead, a blonde, together. a brunette, and a black woman. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and a redhead. Those are redheads. Well, I got, yeah. I got a little, yeah. okay, yeah. little trivia about her. She was in Thunderball. I had to look uh, this up because I'm like, she was? She was like in the background of a casino scene? I don't think she had okay. any lines. Oh. Uh, she was a model turned actress. She was Aren't married to Dudley Moore. Oh. Wow. Interesting. Really? And she retired from the business in <laughs> I was 1977. About to say, Dudley Moore got ass. Yeah. yeah uh, just for sure being Dudley did. Moore. It's just wow. it, it's surprising, but, you know, he's yeah. a funny guy. So mm-hmm. I think that draws him in. I mean, I guess. I'm, I'm guessing. Susie Kendall. And then uh, she came back for a role in Barbarian Sound Studio, which was kind of like this. Did you see that with uh, Toby? No. I think we've uh, talked about it. What's his name? Toby Captain America. Toby Capote. Oh, Toby Jones. Toby Jones. Ah. Thank you very much. Yep. In, yeah. yep. I'm like, I, like, I was, yeah. I was I totally. I was, thinking, I was thinking 90s Captain America. I'm like, oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I was I, like, I, Red I, Brown. I see where you're. Yeah, go- I see where you were going with it, but I did not in the moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Capote clicked it for me. I yeah. was like, ah, yeah. I was like, ah, gotcha. Yeah. I just watched that today. Not Capote, Did you? Not Capote what? Captain oh. America. Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> I was going to say, wow, that's yeah. an amazing stroke of luck that no, we got. First no, first adventure. <laughs> All right, so this movie, uh, Torso. Oh, so, uh, yeah, I was going to say, the way that I heard about it, um, I think because of the title, but also, so... There's a guy named Joseph Brenner who ran a, uh, like, Joseph Brenner and Associates film distributor. Mm -hmm. Like, he put stuff on the 42nd Street grindhouses Mm -hmm. and all that stuff, and he'd acquire these, like, you know, weirdo movies and put them out there. He was a purveyor of schlock and sleaze. and (laughs) The perv part of the purveyor really comes out. (laughs) But I think what happened was um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre was financed by the mob. I think everybody knows that through Mm -hmm. Bryanston, right? But Mm -hmm. when they... Like got rid of the rights to the movie. He bought it, mm. and so he put Torso on a double bill with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. There you go. So you go yeah. see yeah. Texas Attached Chainsaw yeah. and yeah. Torso. Okay. What a great with a tagline that was something like, he loved beautiful girls, just not always in one piece. <laughs> I, like I like that. I like it. I like yeah. that. Uh, okay. So, <laughs> uh, um, All right. So Torso starts with uh, nudity. We yeah. got yeah. an orgy. Well, a threesome. Bravo. That's happening, mm-hmm. and there's so when it, photos so if, being if taken. It's, if it's three, it's a threesome. If it's more than three, it's an orgy. I think so. Is think that so. what we're well, you have a foursome? Yeah, I think once we get to foursome, it all. De- I was gonna say it depends on but the participants, there, but I think it's over four. I would say. Wasn't orgy. there multiple groups of people having sex in the background though? No, and that, I, that think so. I think the camera work right. made it look like okay. two were doing it, and then gotcha. one was hanging okay. out, and they were all together. Yeah. Okay. But I think it's three people, cameras are clicking, and we're like, ooh, this is the setup mm-hmm. to something that Sean completely and totally forgot about. So, <laughs> Oh, no, I remember the orgy. Oh, it's okay. just the yeah. professor. 
All right. To be fair, so we never saw his face in the orgy scene. That's very true. Um, all right. So what's this movie about? Who are our main characters? And I guess, am I right in saying that this is basically two types of movies cut together? There's like a first half and a second half, and they are very different styles. So what are the two types you're thinking? The first one is like a proto slasher movie, right? It's the more like giallo. Mm -hmm. The second half is like a Hitchcockian like tension um, experience. Yeah, it's suspense. <sighs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I see. Like the saying. scenes of her in the closet and yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, like him like coming up the stairs and she's like waiting. Yeah. Yes. Is he gonna get to the room? Is he gonna come in? Yeah. Because the weird thing is, when I first saw this movie and thought back on it, that's what I remembered the movie was. Was that it's about this you know it takes woman place in, in this closet. villa and it ends up with this woman and the killers in the house. And he doesn't know that she's there, and it, you know. Mm. And then you go back and watch it, and you're like, oh yeah, there's like a whole first part of this movie that takes place in Rome mm, with yeah. uh, there's slashings. There's a school. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, there's uh, 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 presentations in very nice uh, halls. There's a classroom in, in a fucking cathedral. Yeah, cathedrals like and very you know incredible. high ceilings and paintings and very uh, European in such a way that it's just um, normal for them where we're looking at it going, ah! Yeah, because they're beautiful. art students, right? Yeah. And I guess yeah. you go where the frescoes are. I was where the art is. I was going to say, the only way I can justify this is, that, is if they're holding class, like they rented this hall to have class there to talk about the art in the so. hall. Sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I think That's, it was a church, that, wasn't it? I think it's it a looked church. like a cathedral, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 wasn't everything Lincoln a church in Europe and they converted it? <laughs> they're just like, it's yeah. a classroom That's my understanding. Pretty much. Well, we're introduced to a whole bunch, a whole cast of characters mm. in that first shot that was cut out of the American version where they mm. land on everybody's face. And it's like, these are all the people who are going to be in this movie. Some of them are victims and everybody else is a suspect. Yes. In the murders. Yeah. And Sean completely missed this entire scene. Yeah, apparently. I so. remember it, but the, uh, the glass, uh, it's, it's Clark Kent syndrome. Uh, the guy had glasses on. I did not remember that he was, uh, he was, he was part of this. So, I was so convinced other people were it. Who is this person that you're talking about? Uh, he's the professor, uh, an art professor. Uh, he, he is giving a lecture, as we're introduced to him, I believe, to the students there, which mm -hmm. make up our main characters, I believe. Yeah. But he seems to have his eye on, uh, well, I don't know. I mean, he's got like a more than professional relationship with Jane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Because they both seem to understand and appreciate great art, mm -hmm. where all these other kids are these just kind of there. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. In the crazy, like chaotic streets of Rome. It, truly, as we as we're watching this, we're describing like people just drive and park anywhere they want. I'm surprised people aren't just driving up. Uh, it's the Italian job in my head all the time. And just like people right. aren't dri just driving up steps and going wherever they want. I'm surprised. Yeah, I mean it is kind of crazy when we watch it. This is obviously the 70s, and yes. uh, you know, I mean, you know, the roundabouts. You know, you see some of those. Right? And I, I've never been to Rome, so no. I don't know. But, but I mean, it, just it just seems nuts as like, far as driving goes. It's stressing me out. Like, how are pedestrians not getting clocked all the time? Because I'd like just, to see the statistics. Yeah, there's no like structure or anything. <laughs> there's no lines in yeah. the road. There's no roads. They're yeah. just like we have cobblestone drive. Yeah. <laughs> I got to go over there. Yeah, there's a crowd so, of people. Right. Yeah, I'll go it, slow. It is, no, yeah. it's like it's like straight lines. Like we're going yeah. to go we're like right there and like what's mm -hmm. in your way? Lots of people. Yeah. We'll well, get well, there. I mean, it helps with your awareness, I guess, the spatial awareness cuz you're always like there could be like a car coming the other way up behind Jesus, those, that group yeah. of people or maybe a motorcycle. <laughs> Stand your toes. <laughs> you know, right. Yeah. And then, but then there's also like mopeds and shit flying all around. They got oh, yeah. all those weird little gas bikes and shit. That yeah, know, so many, so many hazards. Yeah, Not for it me. feels like there, the, there's an action movie just waiting to happen. Like somebody's about to ramp something somewhere. Yeah. I, I have a feeling it just happens every day in Europe. <laughs> They're just like, Zh -zh -zh. you're just waiting to see a moped go over like <laughs> right. a, like a tomato cart or something. Right, something yeah. like that. Yeah. You know, some small, very, very small Fiat goes over some steps and <laughs> drives off. I wonder like, how many of our well-traveled listeners are shutting us yeah, off. Right I know. Yeah, I yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Ignorant <laughs> Americans. Yep. Very true. We get it all for movies. I mean, you know. all yeah. for movies. I'm I, sorry. I assume it's all like Moonraker and a gondola is going to turn into a, a gun safe coffin, you know? Oh yeah, yeah. remember when we yeah. watched that? Yeah. <laughs> remember when we watched that's, Moonraker that's, and they didn't go to the moon until the last Italy's like, like 10 minutes? Yeah. 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 Um, a great choice. <laughs> so we're introduced to, there's a gaggle of a college girls. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and there are several 
guys who are introduced. One of them is a guy named Stefano mm. mm-hmm. who wears a red fouchard. Now, I would have mm-hmm. called this a scarf. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now, is it is it red on black or is it black on red? Well, that I becomes need to, a big... I need you to tell like, me. Yeah, I don't know. I need to know because I'm I still unclear. Now. Yeah. 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 Whose was whose and what the difference might be? Yeah, because I like the way that, like, you know, a lot of movies of this time period, um, maybe it was because you didn't have access to a rewind button, you know? Uh, yeah, that's definitely And it. this does seem to We've be, We've discussed like this with, uh, probably... Deep Red. Deep was Red, yeah, 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 It was like, now that's ruined, because people just... Right, it's just like, they they're rewind. like, what? And then yeah. they rewind two seconds, and like, oh, I, I know yeah. the movie just, now. Just how hard would it have been to make one scarf, like red hearts and one like red diamond yeah, yeah so like yeah. from a distance they would look like, the same but how hard would that have been right yeah this is Come a on. clue is what we're talking about a yeah. clue because the killer strangles a girl with the scarf yes and he's mm-hmm. a masked killer right he is for the first yeah beginning that's of what i'm movie. saying it's like two yeah, different the movies first half in, of the movie yeah in that regard yeah because he is wearing a very tight like ski mask uh, mm-hmm. light gray ski mask type thing i'm just mm-hmm. like oh this is cool yeah and then that goes away and i was trying to figure out exactly what he was up to because i mean obviously it's going to be kind of a skeevy sleazy movie so you're going to sure. get like you know close-ups of bare breasts yes mm-hmm. as he rips the clothes off of them but then it's like, okay, there might be like a purpose to this. He might be doing something because he seems to cut into their chests. And I'm like, is he taking their heart? Is right. that going to be like yeah. a clue? Is this something? Because the second girl. <coughs> oh, man. Colin just died. Pardon me. The second girl, he does a similar thing where it like, because she gets all covered in mud. And so I'm like, <laughs> yeah, is this like girl. supposed to be him caressing her? Or is he what cleaning her off so he can cut this piece of her out I of the body? He's caressing. Feels like a caressing. Yeah, because yeah. he spends a lot of time. Goes uh, if not, yeah. he spends a lot of time cleaning. Because he her does breasts. the same thing to the other victim. He like, kind of caresses. Yeah. 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 And we get the impression that with the first victim, also that he may have cut out her eyes. Mm-hmm. And the right. second victim, mm. he pops him right out of her head. Yeah, sure good. there is some uh, penetration into the orbital socket. No, so. I don't I'm very sorry to say her. that and also make <laughs> that movement. I, I apologize. Yeah, the people at home didn't have to I see just, the, <laughs> the hand movement. The pen- with penetration not, of the yeah. orbital socket. Yeah. Oh it was a furtive, a furtive downward movement Stop. with two fingers. Stop jabbing with your fingers. Stop <laughs> um, it. Stop it. This has something to do with the killer's psychology because we keep seeing a flashback to a doll getting its eyes poked out yeah. Yeah. whenever yeah. these murders are happening. Uh, true, mm-hmm. true, true. Um, okay, so the first girl is killed uh, while she's having sex with a guy in a Mini Cooper. You're right, yeah, under or a bridge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The second girl is killed... Is this the one who wanders off into the woods? Yeah, because she's at the hippie orgy. People dead woods. The, uh, yeah. Right. From, is she coming from the orgy? Yeah. The hippie orgy. She's yeah, right, right. hippie orgy. Did, she, did orgy we see her take bridge. any drugs as to why she would yeah, just wander off? Yeah, she smoking right. a joint. And they had, like, oh. totally, you know, 70s, 70s drugs. Yeah, yeah oh, was true. Like, who are, knows what this was. This is a 70s joint. Right. This had to have been laced. Right. Yeah. Or it just a lot stronger. And no, uh, weed now is way Weed now is way All right, laced. Yeah, it's probably acid or PCP laced. Yeah. But she does wander off into the evil deadwoods yeah but yeah. okay so i mean you know i mean we got a hippie orgy here so uh mm-hmm. I, I, i'm just kind of curious does the drugs make you uh you know as i was asking during the movie uh you just don't notice that people are fucking all around you i think or, so yeah because yeah. everybody's just looking very disinterested yeah well, also, I mean, there. It, it happens it, there's it, orgies every day i was gonna oh. say it looks like this is not something that's new it looks yeah. like this is a frequent occurrence yeah. so i'm thinking they're just used to it there's the one girl dancing, it's and the then they got the orgy. band. Yeah, yeah, it just happens. It's just Thursday. It's like clockwork. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But she gets hit hit on by two of the guys. Like, well, molested by two of the guys. Yeah. yeah. But mm-hmm. she's like, okay, I don't want to go any further, and she gets off and stalks into the evil dead woods. Right, right, yeah. right, right. But guess who's there? Dude in a mask. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With a Hanging knife. Out. Yeah, she's just like sloshing through the muddy woods. Right, like two, like what? It's like a, it's swamp. It is a, it is a you, swampy you, wooded area. What, what is your purpose? Yeah. Stepping in swamp. Yeah. I have nightmares about like stepping in brackish water because like you yeah. can't see what's in there. And no. It's, it's, it's one wrong step and yeah, snakes getting you, gators getting you. There's, no, oh, there's just no. Yeah. Snapping turtle even. Like, yeah. sure, take a know? toe off. Yeah. Yeah, it's very gross. 
Yep. Fair. Muddy yeah. as hell. The bacteria yep. alone. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, that's my main Algae concern. Algae can kill you. Like, that's yeah, the, yeah, you know? Right, something if you swims get up cut. an orifice, <laughs> and then you're just dead. Dude, have you yeah. seen that River Monsters episode about that fish that swam up that guy's urethra? Uh, mm-hmm. oh, I heard yeah. about that. I've heard in the Philippines or something. They, they like, Other ones that go up there and then, like, spike out. Yeah. You can't yeah. remove so them. So they removed this, and they interviewed the guy, and they had it, like, preserved in a jar. No. And so on camera, they had, they're like, do you want to see it again? No. And he was like... Well, yeah, and then once he saw how big it was, he almost oh, passed out. Oh, like, <laughs> no! But they made that poor man do it on camera. Like, here's your the the, the like here's your trauma again, <laughs> yeah. live on camera. Like, oh, oh. Yeah, that's good TV. Fucking, yeah, oh, yeah. I, mean, great, I watched great it. Great TV. You know? <laughs> right, great TV. That gets ratings. Yeah. yeah. But she could get a parasite. Yeah. <laughs> an, an, algae, an algae bloom can yes. kill you. Like, it yeah. doesn't. And she's. Yeah, I've watched The Last of Us. I was like, I've seen what, watching I've The seen Last of Us, right? Can do. We know what fungus is up to. But there's uh, there's a killer in a mask. They're in, they're in, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. The least the, threatening part of this is the guy in the that's mask. That's our least people. concern. We're like, the water! The water! <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, she can outrun that dude. Uh, you can't outrun yeah. bacteria. She doesn't, though, because he's very sneaky. He disappears like Jason, you know, and he does, all of a sudden yeah. he's there. and yeah. you know, She's pretty stoned. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she's got to be to just she's walk off stoned. into the yep. muddy woods. All right, but she is also strangled with the foulard. A scarf. Right. You can say scarf. You and can say scarf. You can. I'll say. I'll accept ascot. ascot. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ascot. <laughs> yeah. So this is when the uh, the the officialdom goes to the students and they're like. You know, do you remember who was wearing this? I like scarf? this scene though, because they show like a close up of the fibers and they're like, This isn't art. These are fibers from the thing that <laughs> murdered your classmate. <laughs> I love that that guy needed to like take a jab at art while he was there. Right. He couldn't just do his job and be like, Hey, we need info on this. No, he had to, he had to be like their studies. The fucking art hippies. Yeah, he had to like get a jab in while he was there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That man has hated art ever yeah. since a painting fell on his mother when he yeah. was a child. Yeah. Or the love of his life left him for an artist or something. Sure. Oh my God. I, well, I, I think it's this. directly related to like painting something. Yeah. Like I need this. His backstory. woman left him for a painting. <laughs> he wanted to be an artist, but he can't paint. He's yeah, just so right. bad. He's oh like, but he really I'm wanted to be one. Or something. I mean, what, yeah. You can make a movie out of this. Oh, yeah. right? You're like making <laughs> like, a character he's, right he's here. The killer. The I frustration. Want this movie. <laughs> I want frustration this movie. of not being able to express your art. I just. I love that he couldn't hold that back. He had to inter- inject his opinion on their art. <laughs> Their studies, like you said, John. Yeah, in the middle of doing his job, yep. he had okay, to take well, a jab. Okay, so if he if he could be a, a, a suspect, who yeah. else are our suspects that we're introduced to by the, this point in the movie? The two men we keep saying, right? So, the guys on the bikes. Yes, the guys on the bikes who yep. were part of the orgy beforehand. Uh, yes. They were the ones that were trying. Trying to they were, fuck before, her before she wandered she off wandered into the, woods. Off into the yes. swamp. So yeah. those two are definitely suspects. Yeah, yeah. they're also and then classmates. the weird uncle too, with the mustache and the bald. <laughs> No. Nope. <laughs> different nope, guy? No, that was a different one. guy. Not the one. Yeah. The one that uh the redhead, it's her uncle. She's staying at his place. Yeah. Yeah. She's like wrapped in a towel and tells him to come in the room anyway. And yeah. he's like, I'm going to Paris and, I'm, <laughs> and you have to dry off now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But he that apparently guy. is having an affair with the girl who was killed in the swamp. Uh, right? Yes, yes, because they we see them in the car. Yeah. Right. And he's like, your girlfriend's listening. And they like speed off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's possible that he killed her. That's and what then, I'm saying. He's a suspect. And then yeah. he's yeah. like, you know what you need to do? You need to take some time and cool off and go to my villa. Yeah. You know? Go to my uh, villa on the cliff. Yeah. And while I go to Paris, mm-hmm. like, sure you do. Then because then later on, he calls and she's like, you're in Paris. It sounds like you're in the next room. Right. Dun, dun, it's a very dun. clear signal. Mm-hmm. Oh, it could be him. Could be him. It also could be. The scarf salesman. It could uh, be the scarf yes, salesman. Yes, we do talk to the scarf salesman. Who has salesman. the best but, access to the scarves? But the scarf salesman. And he is. A, I mean, he I mean is a, it's, it's just good sense, right? And he's portrayed as a creepy individual. Yep. Well, he is a creepy individual. Well, that's true because yeah. he does. Where does he go off to? Sean's like, no, he was framed. This man's not actually creepy. <laughs> he that's didn't how it was kill edited. anybody that we know of in this movie. So yes, he was framed. Yeah. So but that makes he, you that, yeah, that eliminates get, all creepiness. If he's, you don't no, 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 no. Well, he's trying to look up her skirt. I think at one point while she's there, and then he's got a porn. Yeah, bag that yeah. he tries to hide when the detective comes over yeah. to uh, right. question mm-hmm. him. So he's this guy's like, reading porn at work. Yep. Wow. I mean, that's it's like reading move. the newspaper in <laughs> Europe. Although I do like that um, he apparently keeps a record and of the phone numbers of all the people who have ever purchased. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is the same as nowadays when you go up and you have to enter your email. Yeah. <laughs> 
Same I mean, thing. true, but 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 back then it seemed like a far more like really you're gonna keep all this information about these, someone you sold a scarf to. Yeah. Well, yeah. I th- well, I think he really does remember his clients. He was just saying he doesn't. And Probably. it's a yeah, but we watched the transaction actually happen because there's the doctor yeah. who yeah. goes to buy a scarf. Yeah. And what yeah. kind of scarf did he buy? Red black on red. and black on red. No, I think so. or is it red on yeah, black? Yeah, yeah. Red on black. I don't know. Yeah, but, but I mean, Sean, this was also the time when people put their name and address and phone number in the phone book. This is like true. did they did they do that in seventies Italy? I, did it in seventies America? There was a phone book. Yeah, you know? I was like we saw there phone was book. all right. Yeah, right, there yeah. was a phone book. Oh, yeah, because he the doctor later tries to call the villa. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. He yeah. just looks in the phone so, book. Yeah, and isn't that crazy does. though that we used to just put all that information on? Yeah, there? just like here, here, here's yeah. exactly where to find me. Yeah, yeah. here's your phone number and and they yeah, deliver yes. that information to your house. Yep. Yeah. Um, I mean, they do it electronically now. Yeah. Which is, well, no, it's harder to get which, like, which a person's, seems... well, a Spokio or something. You can no, it's pretty easy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. um, so the scarf seller, right, is questioned by sure. the police because apparently he must have sold the scarf. We're going, mm-hmm. well, you did sell one to the doctor. The doctor. He did. I mean, and he's also got a box that shows that he has, he has more. more. And he goes to the payphone and calls Mm-hmm. The killer. Mm. And he's like, hey, I know they're looking for you, and you're yes. going to give me some money. You will pay me off. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. only uh, this is the only way you can buy my silence, which I'm always like, but then the killer knows who you are. Yeah, because yeah, that, yeah, that'll never work out. Because, like, they, oh, they always know who you are. Yeah. There's always an opportunity for them to come back and kill your ass. This is why I'm making, like, de- uh, uh, you see in movies where people make deal with, like, uh, the mob or. or, or cartel guys or whatever yeah. just like you they know they're, they're gonna kill you you're yeah. just not gonna see it coming you, at this point you don't point. make a deal with the devil no, no. you yeah, don't because they will get your you. way to solve your problem is to kill the guy well i don't know okay it's like the cold open of the dark night like everybody oh. gets taken out in the bank robbery so that yep. there's nobody left to tattle or split the money yep. yep that's very true yep because who else knows who the killer is because um well then there's stefano okay so what oh, yeah. stefano, what, stefano <laughs> where is seen wandering around the movie with this particular mm-hmm. scarf yes mm-hmm. and we're like stefano and he seems to be creepy toward the redhead he's obsessed yeah yeah mm-hmm. so it's never actually said because i was listening to their dialogue because she is talking to jane before the uh uncle interrupts them mm-hmm. and she is like saying that there is something between her and stefano mm-hmm. but it's never said and i'm like oh it's like she got an abortion or something there was oh. like a, you know but they never she never gets oh, to say that i never got that but there's no. always this idea that like stefano is like coming around all the time and there's some kind of unfinished thing and i just got the know. idea that they dated and maybe she's just like yeah i'm not really into him and he's obsessed with her that's, yeah. that's yeah. all but, I got well it was just that. from that dialogue exchange because she was about to tell jane whatever it was like i have to tell you something about stefano and then uncle came in and ruined it you don't it. think that was just some like weird italian bad writing <laughs> yeah, you went straight to abortion. Real quick. I don't think well, there's anything that deep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. but, and what, uh, there's a relationship. There's mm-hmm. some there's yeah. something. Yes. Yeah. So Stefano could mm-hmm. be our killer because yes. he does seem to pop up everywhere with the scarf. There's, with the scarf everywhere red on black there. though, not yeah. black on red. Yeah. Who I was it who matters. said that? Like no, but well, it turns it out does. it does later. It does on. matter. I know, but it it matters to them. Maybe like, not us. Like how no, said it, you can't tell us it matters. No, if we can't tell the difference. Because they, they literally showed the differences of the scarves, and all it looked like <laughs> they just were like, tied differently. That's yeah. the same scarf. Yeah. Like it was the same scarf. Yeah, it's like just make is, one hearts and one diamond. Something yes. very, very like same colors and very similar pattern. Yeah, yeah. Because not we're saying, the same pattern, just tied differently. There are <laughs> three characters who have this scarf. Yeah, mm-hmm. although one of them. We don't see wearing it that I can remember. So it's Which like one? cheating the actual killer. Uh, we only see him wearing it during the flashback at the end that reveals he's yeah, the killer. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Because the redhead sees him wearing it, and sooner or later she would have remembered yeah. that he was wearing mm-hmm. it. Sure, yeah. Because yeah. we get the well. I mean, they fucked up for me because they showed the not the doctor, but is it the doctor? No. Oh my. The doctor, yeah, they show the doctor wearing it at one point, and I I zeroed in. I'm just like, that's the guy, that's because the guy. they it, it felt like because they showed it so early on in the movie. I felt like they were like, 
we're going to show it to you, and then and we're was, not going to do it. Yeah, well, and then they kept showing it, the, I think, And then they kept it? showing the doctor more. I'm just like, okay, this yeah. is falling apart. But yeah, this- it was funny, because the Sean, you said it the first time, and I thought you were joking. <laughs> and then you kept saying, I was like, oh, he really does think it's the doctor. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I saw him wearing a scarf, and I was just like, that's the guy. That's the guy I right thought there. Because I thought they were doing it, and I thought they were just like, we're going to show it to you, and then take it away, and hopefully you won't. These are remember. red I, herring, I, Sean. Well, I thought, this is how I these things work. I thought this wasn't as good as the other ones. I was just like, this seemed, when you talk about... Um, this is Ernesto Gastaldi. He writes these things <laughs> for a living. Oh, he I'm does. sorry. <laughs> Ernesto Castaldi, I He's gonna write into the freak show now and start a feud with you. Uh, just you like and Larry, Larry Block. Block. <laughs> yeah. This guy is dead. <laughs> I think he this is guy dead. is very dead. Yeah. We gotta be. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, Sorry, Ernesto. And so, fuck you, Larry Block. I know, because you gotta have red herrings and you know, it's like so, you know, I mean I guess it's a question. I agree you do, well but they do that with other mystery. people too. <laughs> Tell them what's that guy's name, Ernesto what? Ernesto Gastaldi. Gastaldi. Oh, I'm just curious. Ernesto Gastaldi. Really okay, we're gonna see if there's gonna be a vendetta against Sean. <laughs> oh, an Italian vendetta yep, as well. An Italian well. vendetta. Ooh, right. If he's still out, alive, he's gonna have a just, hit on me. I'm just telling you right now, if he's still alive, I'm rooting for him. Jesus. All right. I mean, he was born in nineteen thirty four, so he's dead. But there's he doesn't have a death date. Oh, like he's still I mean, alive. So I need to. I'm gonna Google. No, you keep looking. He's dead. Uh, right. He's not. If he's if he's not, he's the frailest old man in the world. He's alive, and, and he I, could still start an internet yeah, feud. He has, he, he has tentacles. Maybe. I, I, well, the, that would be the yeah, thing. He knows he's people. Like, he's he's still me. alive. Oh uh, no, <laughs> Ernesto! <laughs> but, don't kill me. <laughs> He's still alive and still married. Oh, he's been, no. Is he on Instagram? Gonna I'm going to follow him. He's been married to the same woman since 1960. Jeez. Love All right. It. Well, good for him. I love and it. And bad for me, I guess. Oh, man. <laughs> I just want to rewind to a few seconds ago. Sean said, he's for sure dead. <laughs> but now. The man is not but dead. Now, Justice for Ernesto. <laughs> but now we have a setup for a great giallo. I know. Yeah. Right, we got the character. So from oh, here. Yeah. yeah. Write this down. Like <laughs> yeah. a, well, we po- a podcaster makes makes uh, fun of an uh, Italian filmmaker, and then he's all of a sudden, "I'll show you." Yeah. This is a trademark uh, 2023 Saturday Night yeah. Freak yeah. Show. Just, yeah. just, so, yeah. just need a title. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. What? Oh, it was in this movie. Yeah. Uh, death. What was it? Uh, de- <laughs> no, the title oh, would be something stupid like. Like an angry old man struggles, strangles a young <laughs> podcaster quietly. Or something. It would be some sort of pun we'll, about. We'll, no, we will figure out a title for yeah, this. Yeah. That is that is would, adequate enough that for the a full g- sentence yes. title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yellow is the color of death. Mm-hmm. No, no, okay. no. All right, no, no, well, no it's it's like. not good. For um, okay, so uh, the the um, the. Don't be a fool, salesman. Southern Illinois, while drinking your juice. No, it's not. That's, uh, I can't do that. All right, but the handkerchief, the the scarf salesman, <laughs> does bite the bullet because his blackmail scheme goes sideways. It does. He's like, uh, uh, meet me at this castle <laughs> somewhere in the middle. It looks like castle from Tombs of the Blind Dead. It, it does. does. Yeah. yeah, it does. But that is Europe at this time, so yeah. everything kind of looks like that. That was España. España. Virginia. Mm-hmm. Bahindia. Bahindia. <laughs> well, this dude gets uh, nailed with a car. <laughs> uh, this man is murdered with a car. Yeah. He's, he's, yeah. yeah he it's nailed awesome. Nailed again. It's good. It's he's nailed against the wall a couple of times. If so you're gonna remake, smushed. if you're gonna remake Christine, put this scene in it. Yeah. yeah. Did we ever get her slowly smushing dudes? Yeah. The the, she she crunches herself down to go in that narrow alleyway and squish yeah, that I guy. Oh, she did. But That's you right. don't see the effects like no, this. No, I want to see. That's why like, I want I want her backing up and repeatedly Yeah, I want like the like Terminator this. 2 T-1000 smash yes. yeah. the theme. Like that's, yeah. what, that's what you get in this. You yeah. Because yeah, there was, yes. I guess that's a, the thing that, you know, separated uh, at least or violence is kind of the Italian art form. It seems like in this period of time where it's just brutality that I don't think you saw in uh, in movies, similar movies, mm. right? Like, I mean, you had, I think we were talking about it, there was like the Herschel Gordon Lewis stuff and then like Hammer was doing gory stuff in the 60s True. and then yeah. you had this was the extension of like, I mean, because Hitchcock made similar type movies, but they weren't graphic where mm, the no. Italians like Go graphic for 1973, right? Yes. And that's why it always is kind of interesting to me that, like, you know, Jalo is seen as the kind of proto American slasher movie, but that's like 10 years later, you know, when when that all happens. And then it's all teenagers and Jalos, they all seem to be adults. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is well, that's because nice. um, well, America, we value uh, youth and mm-hmm. everything. Like, that is. 
that's what we put into it. Yeah. But it's weird when you think about the fact that so much of our horror content is assaulting and murdering children. Teenagers, yeah. 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 Well, that you know, <laughs> fuck them kids. Like, yeah, that is yeah. that is our our thoughts. Because who's well, more annoying, also, annoying than younger people? Yeah, but they're yeah. also the. That, I mean, valid point. And yeah. they are I'm, the. I mean, uh, I'm guessing Ernesto feels that way right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's definitely feeling that way right now, dear listener. I need Ooh, I, I need title. you to deliver us your that, titles for next yes, week. Like the sounds of death on the radio. Yeah. Uh, we're close. Uh, yeah, we're close. Yeah, yeah. We're getting there. Yeah. We're, we're getting, getting there. On the internet radio. But it's got to be more poetic. More. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's something in there. No, yeah. we'll get there. Something, something with drama. radio. I do like that. Yeah, me too. Death, it feels death like, listening to the radio. It feels more old. Like, I know. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, so radio. Yeah. We'll get there by the end of this. But I think frequency waves. Some of the, mm-hmm. let these terms flow through your mind. <laughs> Kids are getting killed in American movies and slashers because mm-hmm. they are the primary like consumers of the product. Yeah. So it's like mm-hmm. it's aimed at them. Right. You know whatever. Yeah. So it's scary because it's you. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> it is scary because it's me. Yeah. I guess I just like I thought of that because I saw an argument on the internet one time about like you shouldn't just draw once? like yeah just one just the one <laughs> just the one, the argument? one internet argument the one argument okay that, like one. you shouldn't draw like fictional characters that are teenagers in like pinup poses and stuff because they're underage and I was like but. If that's the case, then I shouldn't watch any horror movies ever because I definitely have seen like and they're basically naked pinups. Teenagers. They're basically pinups before they're murdered. Yeah. yeah have I've you have you seen Jennifer teenagers. Love Hewitt? Yeah, and I, I know what you I did last like, summer. I was like, if you take that logic and think about it outside of this specific instance at all, it makes no sense. I'm like, I guess I can never these watch are, a horror movie then. These like, are mostly twenty five year olds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why so that does help. Yeah. yeah. Yes. But still, like... The idea. Uh, yeah, in the world of the movie that I'm supposed to be losing myself in, they are children, and yeah, <laughs> I'm... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's weird. It's weird. It's depending who the... Because I think that was always the thing about slasher movies. They were hated by critics. Mm-hmm. The critics were always older. Right. You know, they mm-hmm. weren't the target audience. Or that's why there was this disconnect. Kids went to see them like crazy, and the, right. all the mm-hmm. parents hated them. Mm-hmm. You know, um, the perspective shift. Yeah. So... The girls, surviving girls, all go to the uncle's villa in this little quaint town they in do. the countryside. Where they just hang out naked, sunbathing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. I love... And discovered by the milk the milk boy. Oh, yeah, the milk the milk and bread boy. Yep. <laughs> um, Who deserves to be the milk and bread they boy. They frolic That's as far naked as he's getting in, life. The, in, the, in the, uh, the river. Yes, mm-hmm. indeed. <laughs> milk they, and bread and eggs and things. Yeah, oh, eggs yeah. and things. Well, yeah. I mean, after you come, you know, you see three <laughs> <laughs> women sunbathing naked. Like, and, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all the blood drains almost, from your head. He almost makes that noise. He does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so the key thing is here is that Jane arrives late. She does because she goes, stays back to go talk to Stefano. She didn't actually get to where is Stefano at suspect right mm. so the other three arrive at the villas three yeah there's three yeah three mm-hmm. where they frolic naked uh often mm-hmm. often and frolic naked together yeah and apparently no one in this village has ever seen a black woman no no they spend a Oof. long time on that they do like the, the there's a square and they are all gathered to watch her sun her legs yeah, she's, on top she, of a tractor she's perched on a tractor she is yeah. perched on a tractor and now the midwestern Man in me is uh, also attracted by that. Just but. sure, no, that's fair. <laughs> but that that's just that's like a genetic me. thing you yeah, inherited. That, yeah, yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say that's something yeah. I can't help. Yep. I, that's I'm, hardwired into you. Yeah, yeah. Illinois. Like, yep. To be fair, they did all seem to think that she was beautiful. So I'll give yeah. them that. Yeah. She's yeah. a good-looking woman. She was yeah, beautiful. Carla yeah. Uh, yeah. Bruno maybe is her mm-hmm. name, and I know her because I saw her in another Jalo, which may ah. come to the show. Uh. The case of the bloody iris, which is oh, also yes. known as oh. what are those strange drops of blood doing on Jennifer's body? There. <laughs> no. Oh, Jennifer's body. Uh, so. Uh, <laughs> Um, <laughs> so uh, long. Yeah. Again, so we have to, we have to construct a good those strange title. sounds of death on the radio. <laughs> yeah, something. Yeah, 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 we're getting, okay, we're getting closer. Yeah. We're getting closer. Getting what are those strange this sounds is gonna, of death on the radio? This is going to dominate the group chat for a couple days. Yes, yeah. yes, because Sean, Sean and I had it back and forth for a while about what the name of what, what's that movie called? Don't don't torture a duckling. Don't oh yeah. Torture. Okay, I thought it was. <laughs> 
You should and never torture. We were, we were no, adding more words. I thought it was you shouldn't strangle a duckling. <laughs> and so I like I mean, that. You should. I like that. Yeah. Mine's more casual. Like, you know, you really shouldn't. You know, I like that my title's like. You shouldn't you know, strangle a duckling wish, with your hands on a you Tuesday wouldn't. in the afternoon. <laughs> it's like it's a suggestion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, I wish I you wish wouldn't you do that. So, wait, is, is Don't Be a Menace a black giallo? Is that just about the hood? Yeah, pretty much. All right, there we go. That's how I'm using the hood. Well, yes, here we go. All right, so. Now, second half of the movie starts. Right? Okay. Yeah. Right. So yeah. no more mass killer. No, I think no, I think the second half that. of the movie starts the morning because I think there's a, a murder of the uh, the the town cobbler uh, <laughs> who, who oh, comes yeah. to spy yes. on the women and then he is uh, we he know because he's kind of a mute. Uh, uh, yeah, and he's made fun of. He's put up, but by he's the also other, seen uh, carrying shoes and like the very yeah. macho Italian yeah. guys who are wandering around. You're True, right, yeah, probably long, misogyny the, the comes from macho. Italy. That's you can't be macho with that, <laughs> with that mustache. Italian street toughs. Yeah, yeah you can't mm-hmm. do that. Yeah, um, these are shut up, Mario. These are Italian village toughs. Let's yeah, yeah. Village yeah. toughs. Yeah, there's a big yeah. difference. Yeah. These aren't Roman toughs. <laughs> They've been waiting their whole life for a moment like this yeah. to actually be toughs. Yeah, right. The one guy they can make fun of. Yeah, we're gonna take advantage. Yeah. Okay, well, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, there is a clear delineation point because Mm -hmm. the the movie actually does this really weird editing thing, right? Mm -hmm. There's a knock at the door, and they open the door, and who's there? It's Stefano. Is it? But he's dead. (gasps) And he falls in, and then the killer apparently is right behind him having just stabbed Stefano to death. Yes. All the girls scream. Cuts to daylight. Yeah, and we're like, what the hell happened? What's going on? What's happening? Oh, because Jane has has hurt her foot. Yes, and she yep. is bedridden. She's yeah, hurt her ankle. The doctor so has they're... come, wrapped her foot, says, oh, you're going to be fine, which is, she's not. It, that's, it's that's for sure was... broken. You wanted to go into an accent right there, and you're just like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> like oh, I've decided different. Yeah, uh, yeah. You're going to be fine. You so, wanted to do it. But she's Italian, so she can do it. I can feel the Italian in you. She can do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yes, yeah. But no, uh, her her ankle was fucked. Yeah. yeah. It was like Oh yeah, cuz she fell yeah. Black and blue. Uh, Holly's yeah. favorite camera angle or camera <laughs> shot in this movie where it just like she's walking down the stairs and she goes, "Oh!" and falls right into the camera. <laughs> boom 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 oh boom boom God, boom down I the stairs. It, it was good. It was a good shot. Oh. Like everyone who falls in this movie, she like jumps up into the air a little bit first. It, uh, there is a lot like, of launching in this yeah. movie. It Why feels. do they launch into just, their falls like that? There's it's just like, so unexpected. There's yeah. no lead up to like say that she's about to fall down the yeah, stairs. Yeah, yeah. It comes yeah. out of nowhere. It's a surprise. It's I guess it catches you. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's funny. But it also sets up the second act, right? Because she's bedridden now, and the doctor has given her pain meds. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they give her champagne, and so she is right. knocked out for Prosecco. the entire night. Prosecco. So we don't know. The groundy. So basically, yeah, it cuts to her waking up in the morning. It's like ah, Italy, <laughs> right? And I mean, I'm not gonna lie. A, a, Pain meds and some Prosecco. That's Pain meds, put me Prosecco, out. waking in, up in Italy. Italy? Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. That's going to put I'm me out. I'm not seeing a problem. Her, no. Yeah, yeah. No. Her, and, then, her, and, and then her world was shattered. Yeah. <laughs> and then my favorite part is she comes out of the room and she's like, I'm hungry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she is. Which also <laughs> accurate. Yeah. Which is very relatable. Yeah. Oh, my God. But I nobody's answering before. because they're all dead. So this yes. madman went in and slashed all the girls to death. And he's not done. Apparently not. Because this is where the suspense begins. This is because, where the torsos come in. Right. Because uh, she, all of a sudden, somebody at the door, you know, and it's him. He's coming back in because he's disposing of the bodies with a hacksaw. He and he's going to saw them up. But I do like this. Like, yeah. Because it's fair. It's I, it, the, the suspense. I do like the suspense of it. And they're still being a killer in the house. But also just the way um, he's shot disposing of the bodies, sawing them up mm-hmm. and everything. I, I could have gone for a little more like hardcore gore in this part there's like this. flashes of it yeah, yeah to drive it home but it is if there's flashes of it it's also shot in different angles where you see people like being moved like their appendages yeah. are being sawed yeah. off and stuff like that with a fake I, appendage in the background right. I, was like, yeah. I did yeah. like the way they shot it though because I was like that looks pretty good because yeah. they show no, it looks good they show it quick enough mm-hmm. that I'm like that looks solid yeah, yeah. I couldn't yeah. yeah like I said he's more but taking, it was like, solid her mm-hmm. perspective because she's like covering her head and doesn't want to hear you know, yeah she's like behind a chair and a door and she sees it like which is, you know, it's unnerving because I mean, imagine yourself being in that and position. And Milk and Bread Dude shows up all he saw in one of them. Yeah. Milk and Bread Dude. Knocks on the yeah. door. There's all these instances where, like, hey, this, man. 
I've got the milk. <laughs> Somebody milk brings her uh, her car back because her car broke down, mm-hmm. right? It was left yes. at the garage at the bottom yeah. of the hill, and the guy comes back. So there's all these moments where if she could, she's at the upstairs window, she could yell out to them. Mm-hmm. But She doesn't yell out the, to the one guy, yeah. Yeah, because the killer is still there. You yeah. know, he's like outside burying the bodies. He's taking yeah. them out one at a time, so she can't yell for I would take help. a chance with the one guy who's getting into his car, but... But that's the thing, though, like... She doesn't know if she's got enough time. Like the killer, also, the killer could come up and true. slaughter her. Both and she's way, also, right? yeah. and what she also doesn't know, like I mean, the guy with the car could be like he could be part of it too. She has no idea what is happening. Yeah, so. like I get her hesitation. That's very true. Yeah. Yeah, and the phone doesn't work. Of course, that was established yeah. the night before because the so killer she, so cut she, the phone lines. So she tries to signal uh, people that are at least two miles away with yep. uh, a mirror, a mirror, yeah. yeah, and some sunlight. Because the village is down below, so nobody... And the doctor knows that she's up there and right. calls the house, but nobody answers. Mm-hmm. So right. he starts getting suspicious of, like, well, how come they're not answering? Mm-hmm. Um, but there's this whole set of sequences, right? Like, where she goes back up the stairs, hurts her foot again, leaves her shoes on the stairs, oh, has to go yeah. in the room, pack everything up so it looks like nobody was there, and Casey comes up and checks. Yep. She, she hides in a bureau that's very tense. She you know? not only does she hide in a bureau, she shoves a picnic in there. Basically, yeah. like she's a, like sheets, food, everything is in this every bureau. Like this is a big she, yeah, bureau. Every trace that she was in that room is shoved into that bureau. Yeah, I love and I also love the Italian way of just like we're just gonna leave the food left everywhere. Yeah, like if yep. you've noticed, there's just like plates and tables yeah. and just like this left over from last night. It's like ah. Uh, I can't live that way. No, no, no but I feel no, like no, they, no, I can't. feel like they would just be snacking on that throughout the week, like <laughs> mm-hmm. whatever food they had. They're just like, oh yeah, mm-hmm. right, some cheese, week old cheese, crap. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I feel like it ages better uh, in Italy. Uh, maybe uh, <laughs> mm, bugs still exist, you <laughs> know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. True. But um, he locks her in the room because he doesn't find anybody, so he locks mm-hmm. the room, but True. leaves the key in the door, mm-hmm. and he assumes that the, the shoes or whatever he throws them in the in the the uh, bathroom. Mm-hmm. And he leaves as he's disposing more bodies. But I think what we're supposed to take, right, is that the killer goes back to town having cleaned everything up. But the milk guy Mm. is telling the toughs, you know, there's four women up there, Uh, you know, mm -hmm. because he saw four. And so the killer overhears it and is like, oh, oh is that shit. when they're all wandering through the city yeah. at night? Right. right. Okay. I forgot that the and milk so and bread dude shows like, back up. Oh, and that's why the killer goes back up. And that's why this mm. next scene works so well is because the killer knows she's there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even though she thinks that, you know, because she thinks she's alone in the house, right? Yep. Right, yeah. Mm-hmm. And she's trying to poke the key out this of the lock. This is my favorite scene. <laughs> <laughs> right. Because oh, my she, God. I was so invested out, in this moment. This because we don't scene. know what's going on. She starts out by taking a newspaper and putting it under the door. And we're like, what's happening here? So she tries to get it under there. And then she starts poking to try and get the key out from the other end. And like, ah, if you poke the key out, it falls on the newspaper. You bring it in. I understand. Mm-hmm. But she pokes it a little too far. And it falls past the newspaper, but and we all go, oh, we did. We're like, no, fell and missed the paper. We were like, oh, we were very you invested in that. Once we yeah. figured it out, we were very yeah. invested. But it doesn't make it. But it gets there anyway because our black love killer is there. Mm-hmm. But this is like, this is like really subverting yeah. expectations a lot in this like scene. We were already really invested when the key didn't make it. Yeah. But then when he picks up the key with his two fingers <laughs> and like, sets no. it delicately but, on this newspaper. But see, at first I thought he was going to pick it up and like huck it down the hall or something, right? Right. Like, Oh no, it's oh, just, better to just be like, the way he, yes, your plan is goes, working. Yeah, the mm-hmm. way he like makes her believe she's safe is so fucked up. Like, yep. Putting it back on the paper it's so it slides move. back under mm-hmm. so she opens the door and he's waiting there. Genius. Yeah. Genius. Mm-hmm. Love it. Well, who is it? It's that that guy. The professor. I was there like, I don't know anybody's names in this it, 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 That was my reaction. I was like, it's that guy. <laughs> I don't the remember. The professor that Sean didn't know existed. <laughs> he had glasses on. Yeah. Uh-huh. So the professor, because this is also the staple of Giallo movies, that your killer always has some kind of psychosexual uh, motivation, which yeah. is unknown to you until... Until the moment the it's moment revealed. It's revealed. Yeah, because they always seem normal until they're like, I, I, I get off on killing. Ah. Yeah, but well, I was kind of like, okay, you know, because I remembered the opening scene and the, the photos mm. being taken. So you're like, okay, that's blackmail. And then it's like, okay, there's all these girls and they're in this class. And it was like, it's one of the students or it's the professor. Mm. Because that's why I was like, it's not the doctor. Because right, yeah. he just kind of wandered into this. It's like the killer has already 
Like he's after these girls. Oh yeah. Because this is what happened. Mm. They did. They seduced him, took pictures, and so he's killing all the girls. Oh yeah. Very, very beginning of the movie, this. I was like, Well, the professor's the killer. The only way they're gonna come out of left field is if it's the uncle. Yeah. That yeah, was yeah. the only thing that I was like, Okay, you might get me but with they that. Didn't, one. They set up Stefano and the doctor mm-hmm. as yes. potential uh killer uh, you know, suspects. Um they got but me. his his motivation, right? is tied to a flashback where he and his brother mm-hmm. are with this girl and uh I think his brother wants to see the girl's panties again but her doll is sitting by the edge of a Oh, cliff. the younger when they're younger. Yeah, when okay, they're younger. Yes. This yeah. is a flashback. Cuz I was thinking yeah. of this flashback I'm like I don't remember oh, children. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and like, the brother trying to do this for the girl like i'll get the doll back for you goes over the cliff like goes like somebody ran up and pushed him like he jumped off this is like (laughs) full-on macking me over the yeah yeah, yeah, that's great this this should be the response gift to the mac and it should be (laughs) someone sends the italian mac and me me is what you're saying yeah (laughs) then you send this one because that kid shoots up in the air like a rocket before he falls yeah yeah he does Yeah, but this one he crashes out of the rocks. There was so much blood. The there was, there was not no any blood. blood. There no, was no blood. Saw it. There not was not no a drop. Blood. But somehow, in his mind, then he has equated his victims as dolls. You know, mm-hmm. he's like they—they they were dolls. They're just dolls made of flesh and blood. Yeah, and yeah. So yeah he's there's killing a lot of that. Yep. But uh, uh, a Jane is different, right? And things would have been different. But right. he's gonna kill Jane, I think, with the scarf mm-hmm. that he had. And then the doctor shows up. And then there's karate. And the doctor is, is like and, the yeah. greatest flying <laughs> drop kick. Which is a great twist. Yeah. If you can say that. And then there's karate, right. which is a great twist to any movie yeah. if you can say that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In the barn. In which the, yeah. leads to a fight between the two men yeah. over a cliff. Mm-hmm. And we're yep. like, oh man. It's, uh, history's going to repeat itself. Of course. Mm-hmm. And one of them goes screaming over the edge. But we don't know who it is. <gasps> We don't. We don't until he walks into the room. And I realizes. thought this was cool too. I like the way this was. Oh set no, up. I liked it, it was as good well. tension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it. the way they like we talked about during the movie, they shot it where the uh, the killer was walking back into the house because you can't see someone's walking back into the house towards Jane, and yeah. you can't. It's dark, so you can't figure it out, and it's like, <gasps> who is it? And it's the killer for two a shots. little bit for like yeah. two shots, yeah. and then it switches back over to, to the, the doctor, doctor. Yeah. And, like, oh, and we're okay. safe. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, made it. <laughs> And then it's over. You have been watching. Did Torso. anyone almost like want it to be the actual killer? Because I did. Well, I would have yeah, kept and going. Yeah, freeze frame on her like screaming. And yeah, then, yeah. So, that's, and then yeah that's, that's, yeah. that's always good. Uh, that's yeah. always what good I wanted. Yeah. That's what I wanted. Yeah. I think I read somewhere that there was an alternate where the killers actually did survive, so they may have shot it both Probably. ways. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they definitely did because I mean they shot the yeah they guy shot him coming, coming in. in. Yeah. yeah. So that would have been cool, not. yeah, if he yeah, had just, just been, and then freeze frame on his face. Freeze like, frame of her screaming. Almost, I, oh, yeah, perfect. almost like the Tales from the Crypt episode with the Santa Claus, where he oh, walks yeah. back in the front door yeah, and she's, yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah, that would have been terrifying. I terrifying. Like that, I gotta yeah. tell you, I didn't remember the ending to this uh, <laughs> movie. That kind of, <laughs> like, you know, all the stuff in the house, you know. Yeah. You remember, and then like, who, you know, like, oh, I remember the dude did it, but I'm like, how does this end up? Yeah, this doesn't seem as memorable as mo- as a lot of these yellows we've watched before. The brand name ones? Yeah, this does Argento. feel like. A great value version. Yeah, this does feel like a little bit below. Well, those. it seems like Sergio Martino is not as concerned with, like, Argento is more concerned with the aesthetic. Mm. Like, it's all aesthetic yeah. with him. Oh, yeah. You know? I remember the the bird POV. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. This is more like, I mean, he's a good, I think he's a good director because. There's you know, nothing that beats that bullet scene through the keyhole. Yeah. Like, like it just, like, yeah. if you got that, like, yeah. anything lesser than that, it's kind of just like. <sighs> yeah, it's good, well, it's but- kind of one of those things where, like, when you watch, you watch like a bunch of these, and you watch an Argento one, you're like, uh, and all of a sudden there's like this spark, you know? I mean, you can feel it. Yeah. You're like, oh, this is the Dario. Ar- this yeah. is why he's Dario Argento. But nope. you know, I was just talking about that movie the other day to my husband because I was like, no, you don't understand. They sure shoot through the peephole. It hits this lady in the eye, goes through her head, but then it hits the phone that she's trying to dial with please, and then so she's extra right? fucking. And like, there's an yeah. interplay through the keyhole. Yeah, where yeah. She thinks it's, it's a cop, yeah, and then there's birds it's, everywhere. Yeah, and I was like, and that's not even the craziest thing no. in this movie. I was like, oh, a, guy, a guy, Spartan 
Thank were you, you here for that one? Yes. Yeah, we were all here yeah. for opera. Yeah. 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 yeah, because of the giant cage <laughs> yeah, and the birds yeah. that happen at the end of that movie, <laughs> yeah. which that is fantastic. Movie, yeah. That yeah. movie was a spectacle. Yeah, this it is, was. And by yeah. the way, that's Colin's favorite thing right now. He's getting so much joy out oh, of yeah. us all going yeah. like, yeah. 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 No, that keyhole scene. It's, yeah. it's so oh good. That movie's, great. That movie's very good. Who beautiful. else do I get to have these cards? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? It's a very small group of people. I mean, and I still think about whatever that weird interpretation of Macbeth was, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, with the plane. She's just singing her. I'm trying to figure it out still. <laughs> no, and then, oh yeah, there's the the lady dancing. The witches, dancing, yeah, the witches, yeah. Dancing. The witches yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. She had like mm-hmm. a gun and had a weird out like gladiator outfit <laughs> yeah. on or something. Some, yeah, yeah, it was very strange. It was. Yeah. We did a Go whole back episode. And to our episode. Right. Yeah. yeah, please yeah. do. It was, that was fun. A fun one. Oh. All right, well, I guess uh, now we're going to go around the table and tell you whether or not you should watch Torso. Um, probably should have put a spoiler warning right at the very beginning of this. Uh, uh, they know. But first, we're going to read some of your mail. In order to do that, we're going to have to summon our mailman. His name's Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Thank you, Igor. You think he's ever been to Italy? Parts of him. <laughs> yeah, oh, de- yeah, he was definitely... I saw an arm in this movie that might be his. Yeah. yeah. Not gonna lie. He came I'll from that shocking dark basement, mm-hmm. huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. He, got, he had to get oh, yeah. put together somewhere. Yeah, where'd his torso come yeah. from? Yeah, Torso. Torso. Mm-hmm. Torso. Mm-hmm. Torso. <laughs> <laughs> the trailer. Where That's what we're making fun of. It it's is literally torso. 30 seconds of, like, Torso. Torso, torso, <laughs> torso. He'll never believe. Coming soon. Torso. Coming yeah. soon. Yeah. Don't become a torso. A torso. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so we should tell the people. <laughs> you'll enter home. this movie as a full person, but you leave as a torso. Torso. <laughs> torso. Um, so let's uh, let the good folks at home know how they can participate on this interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Freak Show. Or Twitter at Sat Freak Show. Or they can email us Saturday Freak Show Yahoo.com. Or you can follow along on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show about tonight's movie, Torso. Torso. <laughs> uh, Michael Whitaker says there's always room for Jallo. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Love he it. says, always. okay, I'll leave now. I, love it. I was going to say, yeah, thank you for at least ending with that. <laughs> uh, Mark Harrison awesome. says, I love this film. It's a giallo, but it's also a proto slasher. Interesting how the film kill scene mirrors the monster of Florence serial killer who was active around this time that the film was released. Damn, I've ah. read about the monster. Hmm. Of I was like, Florence. I know I've read a book. I was going to say, I've read, Florence. yeah, I don't yeah. remember any of the details, but I've read about the yeah. monster of Florence. Hmm. I got to revisit that. Yeah. Uh, Peter Gatt writes in and says, I just rewatched Torso, and I got to say, all the males in this movie are creepy enough to be the killer. Yes. Yeah. You know, as we were watching it, I was sitting there like hating myself because I was like, man, I'd probably be obsessed with Stefano. Yeah. I, was, like, actually <laughs> I get that. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's got good hair. He wears a scarf. Yeah. He's got pretty blue eyes. I get it. <laughs> it's probably, like, fuck. He's I'd devoted. I like that dude. <laughs> you know. He's devoted. Oh, no, he's that, obsessed with him. Okay. He's that, obsessed that's, with that's, a psycho, and I'd be like, oh, it's a nice <laughs> refrain. It, yeah, it, yeah. it is. It's, it's like in, in the office when they're trying to make a resume for Dwight. It's just yeah. like, he's a gun nut. He sticks to his gun. Yeah. It's like, just rewriting the creepy stuff into a better way yeah. to do it. Turn those red flags green. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, last week. Devoted will never uh, uh, leave your side. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Last week, we watched a movie called. Loyal to a Fault. <laughs> Halloween Ends. We oh. did. And Stephen Helicopter. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, uh, right. Wait, is he going to buzz by with a banner again like he did last week? <laughs> oh, right. Uh, maybe he just said, uh, sorry, you guys had to sit through this movie. Oh, thank you. Okay. I am so banner. long for banners. Yeah. It's I don't mind. It's a pamphlet this time. I but. appreciate that. Thank you for your concern. He, um, you say that. That guy voted for Halloween ends. <laughs> he <laughs> said uh, his message last week was garbage flick. Yeah. Remember? Yeah, 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 but that doesn't stop anybody from voting for it to be like, I want you guys Not to watch it. Not everyone is sick flick. like you, Sean. I, that's unfortunate. <laughs> well, Brian Nielsen says, Uh-oh. as a constant listener and subscriber on several different platforms, uh-huh. I would like to take this moment to say that I am not responsible for the trauma my favorite podcast has experienced <laughs> during the viewing of this movie. I did not vote for this during the polling. Narcissist that I am, I voted for the movies that I suggested. Perfect. I wish I had a thought, though, because this is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, oh, sir. Th- thank you for your participation. Uh, I, I, really I, I do like that, that. <laughs> what, what Halloween Ends is, that people are writing in to say, hey, 
This was I didn't. Right. I didn't do this. <laughs> they don't want to be blamed for it. I want you to still like me <laughs> yeah. as a listener of your podcast. <laughs> yeah. So yes, we appreciate. You're all putting their hands up. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. Yep. <laughs> all right. Well, the some of those are liars. Yeah. I confess I don't remember the comment, but Richard Kratzer says being told to you take that back, motherfucker, after my comment made my weekend. <laughs> oh, I, I haven't listened to the. I'm almost to that part of the episode, I so I will let you me. know. Yeah. Oh, I, that definitely sounds like a Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. Take that back, motherfucker. Sure. Definitely. <laughs> sounds like me for sure. Yeah. That's Definitely well, Holly quote. Travis Legler says, Holly called me a son of a bitch. I can feel the love. <laughs> yes, yes. That'll happen. Uh, he says that Halloween Kills felt annoying, insulting, and way over the top in a, in a way that was so, it wasn't even bad. It's, oh, it was okay. So that it wasn't even so bad, it's good fun. There you go. Mm-hmm. I was okay with ends because it felt a little toned down from kills. Then I listened to your review. Maybe I gave the ends a pass for not understanding some of the nonsense they tried to pass in a slightly more low-key way. Mm-hmm. Oh, there you mm-hmm. go. So we uh, enlightened. We had an enlightening review of I mean, Halloween yeah. I, yeah. I'm we're, happy oh, that I we fe- provided I, that service. I was going to say, I, I feel like we're pretty enlightening most of the time. Global icon oh. writes in and says, "Oh, I've never oh, heard of you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've never wow. heard of you. Congratulations! Okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> an achievement. Yeah, that's like us saying we're the fastest growing." <laughs> yeah. Internet radio superstar. Yep. Uh, Global Icon says, listening to your latest episode just reminds me why I hated Halloween Ends, the most detestable movie yeah. of 2022. Oh, well, movie is in quotes. Uh, yes. uh, that was with- probably like uh, 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 not bulldog. Um, bulldog. Who's the one bald dude who sings? Oh. Pitbull? Pitbull. <laughs> That's Pitbull. Like, global superstar is, is Pitbull. <laughs> oh, yeah, right he's Mr. Worldwide. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. right. Wouldn't Thank you, be, Holly. You're welcome. <laughs> well, he goes Wouldn't on to say. Wouldn't it be funny if it was Pitbull? Yeah, no, <laughs> it could that be would, Pitbull. Yeah. You may, are you Pitbull? Yeah. Are you Pitbull? Are you Pitbull? <laughs> um, well, he goes on to say, a film with zero redeeming quality. Something tells me that Blumhouse and David Gordon Green are going to give us the romantic Romeo and Juliet forbidden love story that every Exorcist fan has been clamoring for. Oh, oh. No. oh I forgot about their Exorcist yeah. involvement. You know, Colin, you know how you said you felt that movie break you, like yep. you could feel it? I realized that this movie made me break to it in like a different way, because I, I don't think I brought this up on the episode, but uh, I watch Real Housewives, so I'm exposed to Kyle Richards a lot, yes. and I can't stand her. But there was in this past season of Real Housewives with her, she brought on Jamie Lee Curtis and they did a bunch of cross promotion for Halloween ends. And I felt myself die inside because I should be overjoyed that my two loves are coming together in this way. It should be peanut butter and chocolate. No, and no. instead I was like, I was like, now yeah. you're ruining this thing I'm trying to enjoy to get away from Halloween yeah. ends is now contaminating other parts of my Your life. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. that was such a heartbreaking realization for me that I should be loving this yeah. and I'm not. Yeah. We gave too much of a spotlight to Jamie Lee Curtis yes, during we this did. series of Halloween yeah. 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 Sure. Last She three was so were, cringy yeah. on Real Housewives. She was so, just so bad. We can only just, hope that uh, everything everywhere all at once redeems her. Yeah. Is it, uh, from it's a, or at least it's a past. Well, she's up yeah. for an Academy yeah. Award right. for them. Yeah. So. I mean, she did do a remarkable job in that movie. That's right. such a good movie. So yeah. I think, yeah. Yeah. Best Damn, role what? since Perfect. Oh. Probably. Uh, is that you? I'm yeah. sorry. Did you see Freaky Friday? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Freaky Friday. Freaky Friday. <laughs> uh, my mostly unfabulous life says. Also, to, true lies. Get out of here. Oh, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> That was a big, bunch of other movies. Yeah. Uh, about Halloween ends, my mostly unfabulous life says to paraphrase Ian Malcolm, they were so preoccupied with whether or not they could that they didn't stop to think if they should. Mm. Yeah, that I'm phrase gets more and more relevant every yeah, year. Yeah, so yeah. good. Mm-hmm. Uh, Blade Brown writes in and says, I loved the radical approach they made to this conclusion of this trilogy. Yes. He had to die. As much as some fans wanted the same damn variations of the movie that they've been watching for decades, laugh out loud. Nobody okay. yep. will ever be pleased with this series. I'm a fan just as much as anybody else. But I don't feel slighted in the least with this entry. This is as real as you're going to get with a supernatural killer. Deal with it. More people <laughs> will start to come around as to this as time passes. I, I, I don't think agree. you understand. I don't think you understand that him dying wasn't my problem. That wasn't the no, issue. Well, with yeah. But, I'm okay yeah. with him dying. Yeah, so am I. I, I wish. Was, Lori, I said it, I wish Lori would have died too. I yeah. wish they both would. I mean, they all should die. Yeah. Both go down together. Yeah, but I also agree that. Yeah. that people will come back to this years. Oh yeah, from I now. can well, see that. That always happens. Happen. Yeah. yeah. That any any movie that 
is negatively received gets a revisit I was say, eventually. In 20 years, it's going to be a freak show movie. Yep. Yeah. Uh. But it, it's still just kind of my jaw dropped. You know, it's like you had Halloween 3 and you had um, uh, Friday the 13th Part 5 the, like 30 years ago. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. And now we're years. doing it again. And they knew that it didn't work then. And you're going to try that in the modern day and try yeah. to pull it out. Like, uh. Yeah. Bravo. Go Fans <laughs> hated it then. They got swept up on that, like the resurgence of Halloween 3, right? Like everybody loves it now. They'll right. love this. So they getting, watched it happen and they're they like, I'm, yeah. so I'm getting ahead of it. Yeah. I'm just going to say, mm-hmm. thumbs up now. Uh, <laughs> moving on. The week before, we watched a movie called The Return of the Living Dead. Oh, yeah, we did. How was it? Great. Fantastic. I'm going to watch it. Again. Amazing. Very good. Uh, Carson Starr says, I have this movie on DVD, so I probably don't have the original music, and that sucks. And oh yeah, Tom Matthews is the guy who impaled Jason with a rod and accidentally brings him back to life like a Frankenstein monster. Yeah. Yes, I love Tom Matthews. Did you yeah. guys talk about like what music was in the yeah. original versus what yeah. was in what is released now? How yeah. big of a difference is it? Is it quite big? a bit? Is it quite a bit? Yeah. Some songs are missing. Some are turned down. He turns some of them down in the middle of the song. Okay. Some are replaced because of rights. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So I, if you I'm have a- the soundtrack album, the new. Newish, uh, was that Arrow? No, who put that out? Screen Factory. Screen Factory. Yeah, yeah, version has the actual theatrical. Track. Interesting. I'm sure there's there's got to be something online that compares the songs from each scene that have changed. Oh yeah, I'll have to go look. At yeah, that. Uh, moviecensorship.com. I think oh, is the okay. they yeah. have like comparisons for everything. I love, I love that. Like. Detailed That's awesome. and exhaustive. Oh, awesome. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, Aaron Dawn Gilmer says, Linnea Quigley is a great human, and this soundtrack was the first CD I ever owned. Nice. nice. She's really nice. She's at conventions all the time. Yeah, who do we... We're <coughs> talking to someone who's been, like, friends with Linnea Quigley yeah, for the last 30 years. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah she right. interviewed her, I think. Yeah. yeah. And this, and yeah. The, yeah. She, she well, tell her we love her. Screens and thank at you the for... drive-in sometimes. Yeah. She's done a couple. Yeah. It's always Return of the Living Dead and Night of the Demons with her. Yeah. yeah. And you could throw in... Uh, Maybe Fre- Nightmare Night, uh, 4. Uh, Silent Night Dead. You could throw Silent Night Dead in there. Sorority Babes and Slime Ball. Yeah. Yeah. Stuart Crawford. Oh no, sorry. Michael Whitaker was talking about uh, you know that Linnea Quigley's naked throughout most mm-hmm. of the movie, but he says technically she's just topless because she was wearing some kind of latex skin colored thong. Really? Sure. Thank was you for she? for noticing that, Michael. I'll have it's to go a, back. And... It's a lot there of attention. There was definitely full frontal. I thought there yeah, was. Yeah, there was full wasn't bush? No, yeah. she's actually wearing something. Okay. Yeah. Really? You can see it if you look really closely. Ah. <laughs> I will go look yeah. closely. <laughs> All right. Um, it looked like full frontal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I always thought it was. There's in that shot where she's walking down the, the street. Okay, why? Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> Holly's on her phone. Stuart Crawford <laughs> says, hello, Internet Radio Superstars. Hello. I recently purchased The Return of the Living Dead Blu-ray from Scream Factory. Nice. So this was a nice excuse to revisit that film. There you go. This was the first time I noticed that the eye chart in the office says Bert is a slave driver and a cheap <laughs> son of a bitch who's go- <laughs> going bald. There's I a also, lot of sight gags in the movie and like the sets and stuff. It's great. Well, yeah, he also says something that we didn't bring up, but a fun fact about the TV cut of this film is Freddy's jacket says fuck you on the back, but on the TV version, he's wearing a jacket that says TV version. <laughs> <laughs> that's, oh, that's funny. funny. Yeah, that's that's really I didn't know that, but is we it, didn't Is it like, was Jesus. it? Did they switch it at the time? Yeah. Okay. They, they shot that's, every scene that's funny. That's really funny. That's very good. Um, Dem Twisted Animations Ooh. says you guys are my favorite movie podcast, oh, especially due to the unique pre- personalities you each have. With most movie podcasts I've heard, it's often hard to tell everyone apart due to their similar sound. Not here. But Colin, Sean, Holly, and Michaela, I could tell each of them apart from the start since every voice and personality is so unique and different. I also love the format of the podcast, the way you talk about the movie and the information around it, as well as the Igor bit and saying some type <laughs> of comment about him that relates to the movie you just talked about, which is always funny so keep up the job and uh, it's a great job and keep up the great work the return of the living dead is one of my favorite zombie movies of all time although return of the living dead 3 is my favorite of oh the franchise. check out and that episode thank you i agree with top you. 10 favorite horror movies oh, wow of all time. thank you for writing so in nice. that was great I've been told we love that Michaela you. and I sound very similar. Yeah, and Midwestern specifically. And Midwestern. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, just yeah, just you two sitting there saying fuck a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Apparently, no one can tell you apart. Oh, yeah. Which reminds me, Midwestern women. <laughs> yeah. who swear too who much. swear too much. Yes, yeah. that's like the biggest compliment. That's, that's a gonna t-shirt. be our giallo movie. That's These are the Midwestern women. That seems like a T-shirt you have. The Midwestern women who swear too much. Yeah, Michaela, please make that. Yeah, let's fuck yeah, let's do it. We're gonna be having our middle fingers up in it on this shirt. Oh yeah, this yeah. There you go. Thank you. 
for your inspiration. Yes. Well, speaking of which, that is the most recent review that we have on uh, Apple Podcasts. Oh, nice. yeah. So, you know, you good folks out there, you know, Thank if you can you. do us a solid, <laughs> drop us a review yeah. uh, on Apple Podcasts. Yeah, great yeah. review. Hit, know, punch group, that bell. In our yeah. group chat, that was referred to as a negative review. I was like, <laughs> negative? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's a representative That's a review. That's a fucking great review like, right there. Yeah. <laughs> that was a factual yeah. review. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now... Oh, <gasps> Me! What did you think about tonight's movie, Torso? You had to think about it. I did, because I was yeah. like, oh, his phone's on top of the case. I don't know what yeah. it is. Torso! You know, I wasn't <laughs> sure about this one, because it, it it does drag. Um, like, it is, it is, remember what level we're at. Great value. I know, I know. It does. So we it, can't compare it directly. It does feel like two different movies, and it does drag. So I wasn't really sure what I was going to think about it overall. Um but going into it, knowing that it's a great value Jalo movie, <laughs> I'd say it's not bad. Um, it's not Argento, but it was still fun enough that I found it entertaining. There's there's some decent gore. There was some surprising, like the scene with the car crushing his head. That was pretty yeah. awesome. I did really like the way the um, sawing of the body parts was shot because it, it looked really effective. Mm. It was kind of quick shots. Um, it, it leaves more to your imagination. Yeah, exactly. And I liked that. Um, I wouldn't have minded a little more gore, but the way it worked, I was like, I, I like it. I dig it. Um, every, uh, yeah, I, I thought it was fun. I think... Ernesto did an amazing job writing Ernesto. this. Ernesto, writing this. Are you he just saying that? Are you just saying that because he's alive? Yeah, I think he's a brilliant man, yeah. <laughs> and we should cover more of his work. Please don't kill me. And I'm on. I'm on Ernesto's team. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> no, I thought this was a fun movie. Um, it had some good stuff. It's it's ridiculous in the way only Jalo can do. Um, like fucking orgies just all over the place. Literally fucking orgies. Fuck, I was going to say, um, are there yeah. other orgies? Yeah, no. There was an orgy with those dolls on I was going to say, there was, there was doll orgies, there was underbridge orgies, so like, yeah, there's different orgies. Yeah. Um, yeah, I thought it was I thought it was fun enough. It's ridiculous. It's, please stop jabbing with your fingers. <laughs> yeah. Stop it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to recommend it. It was, it was a good time. I wasn't sure about it when we were watching it, but ultimately, I'd say it was entertaining enough that I'm going to recommend it. Michaela, what'd you think? Yeah, I agree a lot with a lot of what she said, Hallie. I was sitting here the whole time on the fence because I was like, it it moved slower than I had hoped. But this, it's also it's no opera, right? Like, exactly. and so I can't <laughs> use that measuring stick on it. Um, but I think you got to watch it just because the scene with the key, like that scene alone, is just so well done that I think you got to watch it for it that got scene us alone. Wrong, okay, yeah, though, if did. you would have watched us reacting to it, you would have thought we were watching like the game winning touchdown of the Super yeah. Bowl because we were like, oh, oh. Oh or, 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 like, or the block it, yeah. of the game winning touchdown. Like yeah. no, no yeah. and because it was that was a real yeah. real roller coaster in a short amount of time. The suspense was thick. Yeah. Uh so that mm, it was great. Thick. Yeah. And you just keep in mind, I think a lot of what Holly said is accurate, that this is not an Argento movie. This, you know, put your expectations in the right place. Um, but I mean, there's so much beautiful scenery to look at too, and architecture right? and, and sure. fashion. It's yeah. a like there's a lot to look at in this movie. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, I, I would say check it out. I mean, you can never, like, we do Giallo so infrequently that it, I feel like you should kind of maybe watch them all, you know? But we have no, well, Colin, yeah. Colin's eyes when it was like, yeah, you, yeah. Have, Colin's like you have yeah. no idea how many I feel there like are. All the ones we've covered, I feel like every time it comes around, we're like, yeah, you should watch this one. So yeah, I, we'll like get said, to one where we don't like it. I feel yeah. like there's been some that we didn't like. Yeah. But, but I mean, yeah, it's no opera, yeah. you know, so <laughs> just, just, just know that, you know, it's not that, that crazy, but it's still going to be crazy enough to be yeah. fun. So I would recommend it. Sean, which oh, the thick sounds of death on the radio. <laughs> you just want to put thick in there. You're just like, I got to use. Come on. <laughs> no. I'm giving the you gold thick here. thick sounds? No. I'm giving you gold no, here. No, no, no thick sounds. <laughs> Although I'm, it's. It just flows off the tongue. Right, uh, thank you. Thick sounds. You have to just work like to an say. animal part. This something we gotta, yeah, we gotta work. Because wasn't there like it. a Venn diagram somewhere of like a Jalo title? Oh yeah. Was like, remember actually the last time yeah, yeah, yeah. I used We've to bring the, the list generators. Yeah, yeah, yeah is yeah, it yeah. real or is it Jalo? Or should we, like, oh yeah, throw, Colin used to quiz us. Should we throw a color in there, but like the red sounds of death on the radio? Yes. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. Red and radio. See that help? Right. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm giving mm, you gold here. We could do, we could do more specific. <laughs> we're, we're almost there, Holly. Okay, we'll we'll know all it right. when we get it. All I right, think. all right. 
Um, I'm telling you, by the end of this, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> um, yeah, torso. Um, uh, I agree. We are. We did talk about kind of the spark that um, uh, filmmakers that we're more familiar with in in making giallos, how uh, their spark um, kind of elevates the movies we've seen before. And considering that I haven't seen. Uh, I mean, usually just watch Giallo's while we're here. I mean, although I do love Tenebrae and have watched it outside of this, but there is something about those movies that does seem to be not quite there with this movie. Not to say that this movie wasn't entertaining and fun. I did enjoy it. Um, uh, yeah, there there is a lot to enjoy in this. The uh, you know uh, the camera work in certain uh, places was very good. Um, I mean, I obviously it. Uh, didn't know who the killer was so it got me but that's just I, that's know. i guess that's just my ignorance and not paying attention uh, but but i but i had fun in the process of getting to that point which we usually do with these um uh, you know because they are whodunits and 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 whatnot so um, that's always fun trying to figure it out and see if they give anything away knowing how these movies are constructed and, and see if at this point i'm, I'm trying to find those things or yeah. just like uh, ooh, are they going to give it away in this? Are we going to go with this? Um, but yeah, I was entertained by it tonight. Um, I think you will be too. So I'm going to recommend Torso. Colin. The red take screams us of death on the radio. Ooh. Screams. Ooh. The red screams of death on the radio. Okay. We're getting there. The radio screams red death. At- oh, okay. I like the radio screams. I like their, that's active. I like the active okay. of the title. Okay. I'm looking at Ernesto. The radio Gus- screams murder. <gasps> that's it. It's not bad. The radio screams murder. That's it. <laughs> I'm looking at Ernesto Gastaldi's filmography, and he has some great fucking titles for movies. Oh, yeah. Like probably... The Scorpion with Two Tails. Yeah, that's oh, yeah, yeah. 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 And that's, yeah. What's, that's what you're going to find next to me. Some my of them dead are body weird, when he comes and kills me. A genius, two partners, and a dupe. Oh. Well, they did comedies. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, there yeah. was a bunch but of But they that. all have long titles <laughs> with commas and shit. Yeah, like, yeah we need know. more commas, Holly, in, in these titles. The radio screams murder. There's no commas. It's too short. Damn it. I like it though. At yeah. Radio screams it's, murder is a good one, good, but right? it's longer. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. No, gone. Okay. okay, take um, us home with torso. Torso, yeah. I mean, I guess that was the 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 thing tonight was, as I said earlier, it was like you know uh, all these uh, Argento is like the gateway drug into into <laughs> Jalo, and then there's like, I mean, the amount of movies that that Italy produced. Um, you know, in this relatively short period of time. I mean, it was a, a genre from 70 to 73, 74. Argento was really the only one who went past that. Everybody else, it was collected, and then they went on to other stuff. Yeah. And I think the reason why Italy cranked out so many movies um, at that period of time was uh, it was basically like an outdoor society, uh, the way that I understand it. It's like, you know, people go to the cafes, they didn't have air conditioning in their houses, so they were outdoors a lot. Mm. And the movie theater was an air conditioned place, and so uh. like your evening would be going to the cafe and then going to the movies where there's air conditioning. And so they had to just make like a new movie every week, you know. <laughs> and uh, the Giallo, I guess, arose from the popularity of uh, like Agatha Christie novels and all that they were printed on. Books that had yellow covers, that's where the uh, yes. the name actually comes from, and became like this big thing, and then eventually got exported, and I think, uh, um, you know, um, the West kind of, well, I guess it is the West, but we became more aware of Giallo in like the two, 90s and 2000s when DVD came around. That's yeah. when he actually found out, I was like, oh, they call them Giallo. You know, we thought they were horror movies or mysteries, you know, <laughs> and they were just kind of distributed under different names on, on tape. And so now you got them in their original versions on, on DVD and, you know, uh, Blu-ray and streaming. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is one of my favorites uh, because I think, like, the plot actually kind of works out. You know, it's like it's got a twist that you don't see coming. The The, the suspense of the second act is like palpable yeah. very well executed it's like you know i, I say that argento is a better visual stylist because that's where his he has more of like an eye for composition yeah right you know so much that he's working artworks into the backgrounds yeah. of some of his uh sets you know and stuff like that um, yeah look at the square from uh deep red from deep red where he has like the night hawks at the diner yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, like he does. Built it, oh, know, that's a the, great. That's a great center right mm-hmm. there. But that's not, I guess, to take away from um, Sergio Martino's like, uh, you know, um, 
putting together these scenes. His mm-hmm. camera work is good. It's mm-hmm. decent. His direction, I think, is also, I like, I can tell. Actually, you know, the, the thing that, like, always kind of bugs me about certain foreign movies. Uh, what there's bugs you a about lot certain of, foreign movies, Colin? There's a lot of, like, the characters explain who they are more than the dialogue informs you of who they are. This mm-hmm. is like, you know, especially when yeah. you watch a lot of, like, Japanese movies, mm. or maybe I'm watching the, the cheaper Japanese movies. They just, they talk, 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 and tell you exactly who they are, but you never actually, like, get an inner life of that person. True, yeah. Uh, this one, I'm not saying it pulls it off 100%, but it feels like, I'm like, okay, there's actual characters there. I can tell what their motivations are, what they're thinking in this given scene, and I think that helps you when you're trying to figure out, like, a whodunit, like, who did it? What's their motivation? It's like, oh, it's probably the professor because, uh, you know. Because um, of orgies. Yeah, because of the orgies. Because right. I never forgot about that. They're telling you right at the beginning of the movie. <laughs> like, this is the, that's the inciting incident. I was paying too much attention to the orgy. Yeah. Or not like enough. Yeah. One or the other. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend that, that you check out Torso. I think Torso. It's a good time at the movies. Next, oh, that means, uh. Saturday night free yeah, show. Approved. That's fully cool. recommended. That's yeah. approved. I think maybe Deep Red, we may not have all been. No, I think I, I mean, okay, I watched that one. I had strep throat, <laughs> though. So, because remember, that was the one that I watched remotely and I uh, wrote in my review right. to you. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Officially, I was sick so when it, I watched it. So it doesn't count. It, so it doesn't count. Technically, yeah. within the. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. I don't remember that one. That was the one when the pianist was in Rome. And I remember the, the guy's psychic. face getting smashed on the corner of the fireplace. Yeah, there was and a it was doll gross. that comes in. Oh, it's a doll. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the doll. The piloted doll. There was a, a, an art gallery oh, that he the, walked past yeah. and saw. Okay. Clue. The doll was creepy. Yeah. Yep. yep. Okay, I do remember that. All right, so uh, that means you're contractually obligated to watch Torso. Because yes, we so. all recommended it. Next week, we're going to be watching a movie that's chosen by Sean. What is your first pick of 2023? Uh, my first pick of 2023 is going to be Dr. Giggles. All Dr. right. Giggles. Dr. Giggles. I have Dr. Not Giggles. Seen this Larry in a Drake. Long time. Yeah. From Dark Man fame is Dr. Giggles. All right. One I've always wanted to watch because I have not seen this movie. But we will next Which week. Which I'm surprised we haven't done it on the yeah, show. Yeah. I kind of am too. Same. Yeah. Did but, you Google it to make sure we didn't? Now we don't even know if we did or not. I don't think we no, did. No, we definitely yeah, we did not do, do Dr. Giggles. No, okay, so we're doing it. We're, we're, we're doing putting it, next it week, on the record. Dr. Giggles, prepare for, I have no idea what, but I'm guessing <laughs> Gore, because he is a doctor that will tear people apart. Yep. I have a feeling. It I have no like idea. I've never produced seen by Dark House or Dark, Dark Horse Comics. You know that? Oh. And The Mask, right? Okay. Yeah. So is it a comic book? You're going to find out. I'm going to find out for next week. All right. So, Dr. Giggles next week. The radio screams murder before dawn. Ooh. Why before dawn? I don't know. Well, then we got to have a reason. After, after, after there, dark. I, I like where you're going, but yeah, I need, the, 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 that needs to make sense. Well, Even, I, haven't, I haven't written the movie, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> we wrote it tonight, didn't we? Okay. We came up with it. There was a character that we're going to have to go back and remember. <laughs> well, it's Sean. He's going to get murdered. Right. By, remember, it's me from Ernesto. The, by Ernesto. Ernesto. Ernesto's yeah. going to kill me. Yeah, oh, because yeah. he started a feud with him, saying yeah. he's definitely dead. <laughs> but wasn't there also a handkerchief salesman who was like a character in this? We're going to go back and listen to it. Yeah. That was an hour ago. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. So next week, Dr. <laughs> Giggles nothing. on the Saturday Night Freak Show. We hope you'll join us. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark.